follow-up Friday. Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm coming to you guys with a follow-up Friday video on my GMC Sierra. I am here with a, an offer from CarMax. This is what they offered me to buy the truck. So before I get into this, I wanna talk about this truck in general. It's actually been a staple on this channel for quite a while. Uh, some of the OG subscribers will know that I was doing a series on this 2015 GMC Sierra relative to the Chevy Shake issue that uh, is widely talked about on the internet. Now I did a series of about 12 videos and I'll link that up over here. You can go ahead and watch all those, including up to how much GM ended up cutting me a check. I'm not here to continue to bag on GM with this truck, but I will say that um, I'm actually pretty excited to get rid of this thing. So where I'm at with this truck today, it has 79,700 and change miles on it uh, as of a fuel up today. And I am looking forward to getting rid of it because it's just been kind of a long ownership for me. Now the Chevy Shake issue, what it is, is basically a driveline issue. And there are comments on my channel that are endless on people recommending what to do to fix it. And basically what it is, it's throwing darts uh, and trying to figure out what the problem is. I've actually done a pretty good job of eliminating it in this truck. The biggest change for me was changing out the drive shaft from the aluminum drive shaft that was in the truck uh, originally, which was a thin walled aluminum drive shaft to a thicker wall, which was done uh, a trip that I actually took all the way out to California to visit the guys over at Performance Drive Lines. They did the drive shaft and the rear axles, which helped eliminate a ton of that shake. So now that the truck has 79,000 pushing 80,000 miles on it, in my personal opinion, I feel like you start to notice things like plastics on the interior creaking a little bit, maybe the seats shaking a little bit in certain situations and just things that in general, I, I'm just done with this truck. I've had enough with it. And I decided to take the truck over to CarMax just to see what they would offer with this 2015 Sierra. Now, when I do this, I don't come in and say, hey, I have a YouTube channel or uh, anything like that. I just go in like a normal person and I don't even film inside. You see the video that I shot was my dash cam of me pulling in and basically me walking back to my truck. And that is how much I film because I don't want these numbers to be influenced by any sort of, hey, I'm a YouTuber kind of thing um, and have it kind of be misleading. So CarMax offered me $22,000 even for this truck. At the time that I actually had them pull the, the numbers, it was 79,487 miles uh, that they did this, which was actually last weekend. And they pull all the information off the truck and that is what you get. So at this point, I really do need a crew cab. Uh, my four-year-old is kind of crammed in the back there. Uh, it's just not ideal. And actually the new F-150s have uh, quite a few features that I'm interested in from a practical truck standpoint, from somebody who actually uses their truck uh, for work frequently. Uh, the fact that it actually has the center console that unfolds to a work surface, I would use that all the time. Uh, the hybrid capability. There are endless times that I'm on job sites with the truck just idling because while it's a beautiful 67 degrees out today, in a couple of months it's gonna be 110 and it, it's unbearable outside. So uh, with the truck just running idle all day long on job sites, you're just burning through fuel. The hybrid is a huge thing for me where potentially the truck can sit there and run idle on battery power as opposed to engine power, uh, just costing me money. So I'm really excited for the idea of an F-150 hybrid and how I build that out, I'm not sure, but I do want to custom order that truck. So this appraisal offer of 22,000 just puts me in a position to understand how much CarMax would offer me cash. And I'm probably just gonna trade it in when I get the F-150, but if their number's not close to what CarMax offered, I know I can bring it back here, get that cash of what they offered. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. It's a 2015 GMC Sierra, 80,000 miles, it's an SLE, so it's basically mid trim level. Over the course of the years, thanks to this YouTube channel, I've had the ability to put some options on there, such as the power running boards. Uh, I've got some nice off-road lighting on here, a bit back behind the grill, which I've done videos on all of this stuff. Uh, Tanu cover. I've actually upgraded the uh, radio to Apple CarPlay with all of those bells and whistles, which the, uh, the 2015s did not have, I think until late 2015. Uh, so it has all of the amenities, including the center console that I built out. Uh, so I've put a lot into this truck, but I'm just kind of over it and I'm looking forward to the next thing. Now, to those of you who've watched the series and you know that GM actually cut me a check, you would say, well, why didn't you get a truck sooner? And the answer to that is there really wasn't a lot of trucks out there that I've really been interested in. I don't really like all the new GM trucks all that much. I don't think the design's all that great. So it wasn't enticing enough to go to the dealership and buy a new one. The Rams, I didn't like until the new body style. And 
I still kind of was waiting to see what Ford was going to do, and I'm just really a big fan of what Ford's doing. So I think that's going to be where I'm going. However, I don't totally know yet. I might still go Ram. I'm still up in the air, but I did want to share with you guys how much CarMax offered for this 2015 GMC Sierra because I think it's interesting. I think it's uh, kind of cool to know that you can take this into CarMax. What I will tell you, and again, not sponsored, CarMax has nothing to do with this video, but I will say what's really cool with this appraisal offer is that I brought it in here, walked in, they appraised it, and after they appraised it, there was no pressure to go and walk the lot for uh, looking for new cars. They basically gave me the appraisal offer and let me go. I was shocked by that. My phone has not rang once after this appraisal offer. My experience in dealerships is the moment that you come in, if they can get your phone number, your phone will ring nonstop until they get you back into that dealership. CarMax did not do that. Very low pressure to the point where I, I wouldn't be totally opposed to even coming back here to buy a used car, um, but I am looking new and CarMax doesn't sell new. So um, I am really thrilled with my experience with CarMax. I would recommend to at least step foot in the, the dealership if you're interested in selling a vehicle. Pretty cool to get uh, an offer like this. The offer is good for seven days. At this point, I think I have until Saturday to take them up on this specific offer, uh, which I probably won't do yet. But when I go and buy that new F-150, if the dealership doesn't give me a good enough trade, you will see me bringing my truck to CarMax and probably just selling it that way because why not? So thank you guys very much again for tuning in. This is my follow-up Friday on my 2015 GMC Sierra. I am very happy to be kind of closing or heading into closing this chapter of my life because it's just not been an enjoyable vehicle for me. Um, it's been kind of a long road with this truck. Uh, it's gone back and forth across the country with me several times. Um, I love the truck from a style standpoint. I think the GMC Sierra, this model year or this range of years is some of the most beautiful trucks design wise on the road. I love these design cues. I think the um, exterior of the truck is great looking once you pull the chin spoiler off the bottom. Uh, the interiors on these trucks I actually think are nicer than the current trucks. I think from 15 or 14 or 15 to 18 or 19 in that range, interior wise is actually better uh, and more premium than the existing trucks. It just looks like there's no uh, premium materials there. So these trucks are, in my opinion, the nicest design wise that GM has put out, um, uh, even more so than the current trucks. But this has just not been a fun ownership experience for me, and I am looking forward to moving on to the next thing. Now, if GM had a better truck out right now, I would probably consider it. I do get a GM family discount, so it is enticing to go back to GM. Who knows, maybe I go that way. Stay tuned, you guys will see where I go on this channel. You know I share all this stuff with you guys. So if this is your first time tuning in, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to support the channel. I will see you guys next time.